they said that they had they had seen my resume um on indeed when 25 year old ashley got a job offer in june from a company called gux it she was excited but cautious she went over the website thoroughly to make sure the company was legitimate including its vancouver address um, everything that you're basically told to look for red flags uh, they had pretty much covered. <laughs> CBC News has agreed to use Ashley's first name only. She's scared because her new employers turned out to be fraudsters. A fake manager told Ashley she needed to convert a $2,000 e-transfer into Ethereum or Ether, similar to Bitcoin, to buy software and web domain names for clients. Moments after Ashley followed instructions to use this cryptocurrency ATM, she got a call from someone in Vancouver she'd asked to check out Guxite's office address. He's like, uh, this company doesn't exist. It's nowhere in the building. And my heart and my stomach just sank. CBC News investigated and found the Gux IT website Ashley had so carefully checked was stolen from a company in Ukraine. Gux IT copied everything from employee photos to the company's history almost verbatim. What we see is the fraud just take time to set up fraudulent websites uh, that may spoof real companies or, or seem legitimate. The number of job-related scams reported to the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre so far in 2020 is approaching the more than 2,400 reports for all of 2019. Many are money laundering schemes designed to get unsuspecting new hires to take dirty money through e-transfers and convert it to cryptocurrency that's much harder to trace. Ashley hopes by speaking out, she can prevent this kind of scam from happening to someone else. Nicole Ireland, CBC News, Toronto.